no, it did not. Hey everyone. So today I'm going to make a video about my nails. Um, I usually wear either fake acrylic nails or basically nothing at all on my nails. So like no nail polish, no gel nails, nothing. So these are the nails that I have right now. And um, yes, they are fake acrylic nails. Um, I guess I when I go to the salon, I get like just the regular pink gel. And um, I feel like the salon that I go to, so I'm very, very, very picky about my nails. So um, I've been going to this one salon for a while. It's actually conveniently located next to my job. So that's awesome. But yeah, the guy that does them, he does an awesome job in terms of the shape, the thickness, and um, just the overall, like when they do the, um, the filing of it, it's very smooth. It is exactly what I want. I've gone to salons, um, other salons since I've started going to that one and um, they were definitely not as good. Some of them were even sloppy and they just, they're not, uh, they didn't turn out so good. So I'm, I always, you know, go back to the salon that I originally started from. So um, actually the nail color that I have on right now, I am, when I first found it, I was absolutely obsessed with it and I haven't worn it in a while, but I put it on yesterday and then I just remembered like, oh my God, this is so awesome. So, um, I don't know if you can see it very well, but, um, it's like a holographic design. So it's not, it's not silver. It's not shimmery. It has that holographic feel. So, um, if you guys know me in like real life, um, you guys know that I'm obsessed with like that hologram design, that look to where it's like multi, um, depending on which way it faces, like towards the sun, towards the light, it can change color. So I love that um, design. Um, let me show you guys where I actually got this nail polish. So this is a new nail polish, and I actually got it from Urban Outfitters. Um, they didn't have it in the stores. I have two Urban Outfitters by my house, and they didn't have them in the store. Um, so I had to order it online, and the name of it is Silver Holo. Holo. Um, and if you... If you go online um, and just go to the nail polish section, I think it's just called holographic or something. Um, so you can get it from there. And the other nail polish that I really like by um, Urban Outfitters, and I'm not, so I don't, I'll go into this a little bit later, but um, the other nail polish I liked was this one. And it's kind of like a um, an 80s like peach color almost. Um, and this one is called West Side. So this is another one that I like a lot. So in terms of nail polish, I am not one of those people that buy a lot of nail polishes. I know some girls, you know, have a huge wall full of them or drawers full of them. I'm just not that type of person because I tend to wear the same, maybe three or four colors um, throughout the year. So my number one uh, go-to color is um, OPI Lincoln Park After Dark. Um, I feel that the color is, so I like, a lot of dark colors so um, I either wear that one so it's if you guys have seen it it's very I don't have it personally but it's very um, dark so it's almost black but with a purpley purpley tint to it um, I don't do black nail polishes because I feel it looks weird on my skin tone because I'm relatively fair um, the other color that I would probably wear is just kind of like a candy red um, then I would also go with like a nude like a very nude pink and um, maybe another one would be I don't know um, I know there's an orange one that's currently on my toes um, I don't remember what it's called but it's an OPI and it's just like bright orange um, that's another one I would wear I wouldn't I don't do I'm not big on like green or blue because I feel like it makes it just looks weird to me um, I also don't like and I know this was like Big, maybe like a couple years ago one or two years ago and it still is um, designs on the nails just because um, I feel like for me nails shouldn't look kind of simple and I get bored of nail colors easily so if I have you know some crazy design on my nails and I you know look at it every day for like one or two days I begin to kind of get sick of it and changing the design is such a it's, it's a big process. So if you do your nails and you put like a design in, you put a lot of time into it. So I feel like it's just not worth it for me. 
Um, so I don't do designs. I don't do like different, um, you know, like one nail is a different color or anything like that. I just am not really into that. Um, the other thing I wanted to tell you guys about, so even though I say that I'm not into designs, um, there is this one, um, I guess, thing that, that I used to do. And I, the only reason I don't do it anymore is because it takes a lot of time and it's kind of a hassle to remove. So um, there's this website called Tana Nail. Um, it's spelled T-A-N-A-N-A-I-L dot com. And um, I believe it's dot com. I'll link you guys at the bottom. But they have, um, they have little like design decals and stuff. So it's a huge website for nails. And um, it's not based in the United States, so I believe, I believe it's somewhere in Asia. But um, they have, like, you know, really cute bows and stuff that, you know, is cool for other people, but I wouldn't get them. But, but, this is what I would like to show you guys. So, um, they actually come in a sheet. So, these are just, like, little sticky decals. So, this one is YSL. And I love the YSL monogram. I'm like obsessed with it. And I'll show you my shirt in a second because it's very similar to the YSL monogram. And the other one is like little Chanel things. So what you do is you unstick them and you put them on your nails. And they are, they're not like stickers. They're almost metal. So they're kind of, they bend towards your nail. So especially with me having these fake acrylic nails, it's very hard to peel off the sticker and then position it just right on your finger. Um, what I usually do is I have nail glue and I put a little bit of nail glue like on my finger in the um, area that I'm going to put the sticker and then I use tweezers to drop the sticker on and then kind of position it. But it takes forever and I'm just too impatient for that. But um, I guess the last thing that I want to show you guys in terms of nails is um, so not only do I, you know, not really put I don't put effort into putting like designs on my nails. I hate painting my nails, painting my own nails. Um, normally when I get my nails painted, um, it's going to be at, salon, at the salon at the same time, like I, me getting a fill or something. So um, the reason I don't like to do it is because I feel like I'm very like um, OCD in terms of it being very perfect. So if I get some on my cuticles, I'm just like, uh, -huh, you know, like, that's so annoying. I'd rather get it done at salon because I don't, I, I hate looking like uh, my nails if there's like polish on the cuticles or whatever. It's just me. I don't know, but just me. But um, when I do resort to painting my own nails, and this is just like if I can't go to the salon or something like that, I, um, you know, use my nail polish and then I use this top coat. So this is the top coat that I love. So it's the Seshvit, um Dry Fast Top Coat. And um, it makes your, so it probably speeds up the process of your nails drying by like, I want to say like eight times or something. Because um, normally when I do my nails, um, another reason I hate doing my own nails is because wait, I hate waiting for them to dry. I always get really impatient and start doing something and I mess up the nail and then I'm just like, ah, oh, screw it. And I just like take off all the polish. Um, this one makes it dry so fast. So probably in like three or five minutes, my nails are dry. I still wouldn't like rummage through like forks or nails or something sharp. You know, it's, they're not like super, super dry, but they're dry enough for you to be able to do s stuff, you know, you know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, um, that is my nail story. So, um, and the other thing that I like about acrylic nails is that polish stays on them like for a really long time. Um, when I would put nail polish on my regular nail, like on my natural nail, they would chip like almost in hours and I'm not even doing anything for it to chip. Like, I don't, I don't get it. But, um, yeah. And so, yeah, I've had these for probably a couple of months now. Um, I'm kind of, sometimes I get tired of having, cause you feel the fake nail on your nail. And so I kind of feel, I'm almost getting to the point to where I'm about to remove them and be like natural, all natural um for maybe like one or two months but i don't know it just all depends um but yeah oh and one last thing um in my last organization video i told you guys that um i wasn't really feeling my hair that much um just because when i got it done the um hairstylist and if you can see um kind of went all the way up to my roots in terms of like the little highlights or whatever so um i actually went back and she 
put like a little bit of a darker color on the parts that were lighter. So um, I actually really, really like it a lot now. So it's not like a stark difference of, you know, the highlights over here. It's kind of um, a little bit more, a little bit more blended. So yay for that. And let me show you guys my shirt. So, ha, um, I just showed you guys the YSL monogram thing. So I love that. So this is a shirt I actually got probably from, I'd say Forever 21. It sounds about right. Um, and it just says VIP and it's the same type of lettering, like, you know, slanted lettering as the YSL um, monogram. Um, oh, 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 and one last thing. Um, the candle that I showed you guys in the last video, so the one from Anthropology. I know I got it wrong like three times in the previous video, but the candle that I got from Anthropology, and I don't know if you can see it burning over there. Um, it actually does smell up the room, so it's I love it. It smells very like honeysuckle, um, honeysuckle warm, yummy smell. So yes, it was totally worth it, and. Um, I have the little cap of it. It's the Voluspa Crane Flower. So yeah, um, great candle. And then let me guys, let me show you guys just like my outfit. Um, I don't know if you can fully see it, but um, so I will not pass up an opportunity to wear um, high waisted cut off shorts. Um, Texas's weather is very unpredictable and um, like warm one minute, cold the next. So today it just happens to be 70 degrees. And so I'm going to totally take advantage of that and wear these cut-off shorts. Um, I think I got them from Urban Outfitters last summer. Um, and I know I have several more and I totally wasted a crap load of money with um, buying cut-off shorts last summer. But um, that's another story. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. And um, if you like my videos, just go ahead and subscribe. Uh, I don't know which way to point. But um, subscribe to my videos and I'll hopefully make another one in the next couple days.